Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I'm your host, Rogue, and today a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. Tech has more information and a special sign up offer at the end of this video. James comes in with a thought and an observation on his upgrade, and he might have something to share with all of you. Mm -hmm. It is, he upgraded from an has, a Haswell i7-4790K, 32 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1070, to an i9 10850K, 64 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 3080. Initially thought this would be an overkill, but he quickly realized that we have been right all along. If you're gonna upgrade, upgrade. A wee! <laughs> um, I have to say, we get these comments all the time. And since James was very kind and gave us a very generous support with this thing, I wanted to immortalize him in a bite-sized tech and share with all of you, we're not crazy, the viewers aren't crazy, the posters aren't crazy, the comments aren't crazy. If you've got anything from an i7 2600K from 2011, all the way up to an i7 7700K, honestly from just four or five years ago, and you go from that four core chip to the 10 core 20 thread i9 10850K, and especially, RAM upgrade, and yep. he wasn't bad before. He had 32, 32 gigs, gigs of RAM, RAM on his 4790K, and a GTX 1070 was a perfectly fine card five years ago. Not even three years ago, it wasn't bad, but yeah, I mean, this is 2021, and he went to a 3080. That's the kind of upgrade that when you turn it on and you install Windows and you run your games, you go, oh, I did upgrade. And it's not just in frame rates. Way too many people just look at benchmark charts and average frame rates and think, well, if the average frame rate counter isn't better, then there's no point. Except that's not all of, that's not ever, user experience. Yeah. When, when James installed Windows on his computer, he got to see how quick that was. When he ran Windows updates, installed the drivers, downloaded Steam, installed his games, launched his games for the first time. Yep. When he saw the spinning wheel and how quickly it went from the splash screen to the game menu, and then he hits load game. Those differences, but you think, Also wow. to probably how smooth the gameplay is too, because there's- Frame pacing, yeah. Frame, frame pacing, so rather than e -e 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 -e, is like flat lines, but the only time you want a flat line. That's the good time, yes. That's the good time. So he went from what at the time was a great machine, but I think a lot of people forget that the 4790K, which was Haswell Refresh, 2014. Four cores, eight threads. I know, because I'm using one. At the office. At the office. But what do you have at home? I got a 1050K. So you did, you've got what he has. I know, and it's awesome. Except you have... Well, you have a 3090 at home, but it's basically the same thing in terms of gaming performance. Now, your machine at the office has an RTX 2080 Ti. It does. Which is miles ahead of a, of a 1070. Yeah. But you can still tell, I mean, with a 2080 Ti in yep. your I office machine. still see the spinny thing. The 4790K is slow. <laughs> and here's the funny thing. Her 4790K at the office has... 32 gigs of RAM. of RAM. It has a one terabyte NVMe drive because it's got a very nice Zoo Z97 uh, motherboard with one of the very early M.2 slots. Windows 10 is installed on an NVMe drive. Yep. And with an RTX 2080 Ti, the difference between that and her i9-10850K at home. And it's on a ultra, well, sort of an ultra wide, I guess, isn't it? So is your machine at home. I know. But it's not the gameplay performance. You yep. play World of Warships. Both yep. video cards are stupid overkill. It's the waiting for the spinny thing when you're loading to a map. It's it's multitasking. It's it's Windows updating. It's the game updating. It's the... Using your computer. <laughs> 
So I want to immortalize James's comment here in this bite size tech and give people a reference because I, I know a lot of people say, but but man, I see this benchmark and, and all this other tech channel, they they benchmarked uh you know this game on a 3090 or 3080 on both machines and it was only eight frames per second or ten frames per second faster. There's no reason to upgrade my seven-year-old has well as just fine. Well, it is just fine. It runs, it works, it's you know, he could have put that 3080 in his 4790K. Yeah, you could have done. And I have seen a lot, since the 30 <laughs> series came out, I've seen a lot of comments and posts from people saying that the CPU is not as important and they've done that. I actually saw somebody who put a 3090 in their 2011 Sandy Bridge 60, uh, 2600K. I've seen And he's that. like, what do I need to upgrade my CPU for? It's fine. Dude, seriously? You, you don't know it's fine. You think it's fine. It's, you don't know any better. If you haven't tried it, obviously, because you would never make such a ridiculous assertion. But because we've had the opportunity to use both, exactly. and see, James now has. Well, and I'm switching, but like, because I'll use the 4790K at the office, and then I'll go home, and I'll be like... <sighs> James, if you want to experience crazy... Now that you've used your new computer, go back. Go back. And, and you will ask yourself how you ever used that abomination. <laughs> You'll be like, I thought my computer was good. Holy <laughs> smokes, it's a pile of hot trash panda. Um, the improvements are real. The world moved on. Upgrade. I mean, if you can, obviously, if you can't, that's a separate story. But oh, if no, you've no, got no, no, the no, money, no. it's if, worth it. If you're going to upgrade, upgrade. That's an upgrade. Thanks, James. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cashback that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, no credit checks, no interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money anywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. You heard me right. Use your new crypto visa card to pay for your subscriptions and get 100% back in rewards. Earning 8% on your new visa card is awesome, but how would you like to earn up to 14% interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating to feel like your money is just parked. Yes, you really can earn up to 14% annual interest on your crypto paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Flexible terms are offered, including zero lock, so you can withdraw your crypto anytime you like without restrictions, or you can hold for one or three month terms for a higher rate of return. Of course, you can buy, sell, and exchange 100 plus cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies using bank transfers or your credit and debit card at true cost. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and you earn up to 10% back in rewards, and that's not even everything they have to offer. If you're looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link in the video description below to sign up today, you'll get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and it gets you a great offer to get started in the world of crypto.